Hi, we're back with a quick tour of the main ingredients for a super delicious broad beans rice with lamb. I will talk about the amount of these ingredients as the video progresses. This dish was so special because we grew the broad beans in our own back garden and believe me, nothing competes with freshly picked vegetables brought directly in the kitchen as you see me in the clip. Let's start the preparation by washing two cups of rice with cold water. We need to change the water several times and repeat the process till the water on the rice stays clear. By doing this, we're removing the excess starch from the rice and let the rice grains lengthen more easily. We soak the rice in some water and add one or two tablespoons of sea salt and keep it aside. Now marinate the meat with one full spoon of sea salt, one teaspoon of chili powder and one full spoon of turmeric and mix them thoroughly so that the meat absorbs all the flavors for about 20 minutes to half an hour in the room temperature. Mix them well, mix it, mix it, mix it, stop. Keep the marinated meat aside. To prepare the broad beans, start off by cutting the two ends and chopping them all into small or medium cubes. You can use the broad beans alone as some people prefer, but I wanted to keep the pots as they were fresh and tender right from the plants. You can add to or reduce this amount based on your liking. We move on to peel and chop two medium sized onions into small pieces. Chopping them smaller speeds up the process of browning the onions and let them melt easier in the dish when it's cooking. See how fast I'm chopping? Just kidding, it's fast forward. Into the hot pan goes one bay leaf two cardamoms and few cloves and obviously a full tablespoon of oil of your choice. I use coconut oil for frying because it's much healthier and has a high smoking point. Once the oil is hot enough, we add the onions and stir them occasionally until slightly brown at which point we add a full tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. You can skip this step if the smell of garlic bothers you. I love, love garlic, so I fry them with the onions and add the rest of spices, which are curry powder of your choice and another teaspoon of chili powder. Mix them well so that all the flavors are incorporated into the mixture before adding the already marinated meat, which should have been sitting on your counter for a good half an hour by now. The magic happens when you mix them well enough that the meat absorbs all the flavors before becoming caramelized. By caramelizing, um, I mean when the meat is cooked with no water um, and the surface of the meat turns slightly brown at which point the meat doesn't absorb any more flavors as you can see the piece of the meat I'm showing. Now you're safe to add just enough water to cover the meat. Put the lid on and let the lamb to cook for about an hour on a medium flame. Zafran is an aromatic and color enhancer which is added to this Iranian dish. You can put a pinch of saffron in a little bit of hot water and let it aside to become an mm, orangish or dark yellow in color to use as a decorated topping mixed with some rice. Now it's time to bring some water to boil for making the rice. Usually twice the amount of rice, in this case, four cups of water. In these types of dishes, you learn how to plan and time so that both the rice and meat are cooked at the same time. While the water is boiling, we need to add some more sea salt to the water. Yes, more sea salt. Now, that may seem a lot of salt, 
but don't worry we will drain the rice and the excess salt will be drained as well add the rice without its water to the boiling salty water now uh, and also the broad beans at this point because I'm adding the pots with the beans which need to be soft before draining um, and then obviously stir them occasionally to prevent the grains forming clumps once the rain, uh, rice grains turn from translucent to deep white um, and can be easily broken by the tip of your finger you know at 6 per 60 percent or 70 percent cooked which is enough at this point drain the rice mixture um, you may need to run some cold water on it that's perfectly okay now back to the empty pot uh, we put some butter or oil enough to make a thin layer at the bottom of the pot for a crunchy rice which is called tahdi i use organic butter from grass-fed cows which is a healthy and much healthier option once the butter is melted we add a layer of rice and spread them evenly then sprinkle some dill herb fresh or dried doesn't matter and keep on adding the layers you can place a bit of butter again um, and or sprinkle some oil in the mid layer to prevent the rice forming clumps because of the steam inside the pot when it's uh, when the rice is cooked so like this as you see on the video i'm keeping on adding the layers and at the end i add two tablespoons of rose water for aroma and another layer of dill as you can see i'm sprinkling another layer of dill and a bit more butter yes the naughty butter comes in again sorry but it needs the, the rice needs to be separated till the end so we can add half of the soft saffron water on the top at this point we need to put the lid back i use a um, traditional iranian steam absorber um, and, the lid, and let the rice to cook first on high flames for about five to seven minutes then on a low flame for about 40 minutes or slightly more once cooked take a um, couple of spoons from the rice and mix them with the remaining saffron this serves as an aromatic topping um, which you normally see on different types of Iranian rice if you make this super delicious food at home I guarantee you and your family would love it don't forget to give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel yes for future updates and support us and leave your comments below and enjoy this food bon appetit